This is a story about chips, a tiny invention that conquered the world in a few decades. The chip industry grew into an essential part of the world economy. You don't realize it, but chips are everywhere. In controllers, toothbrushes, and shaving equipment, in hair dryers, radios, lamps, coffee machines, and so on. Life without chips no longer exists. After the first integrated circuit and integrated transistor were invented, Philips started producing semiconductors in Nijmegen in 1953. A whole new factory complex was built for this purpose. Two years later, Field Marshal Montgomery even came to take a look. He was given one of the first transistor radios as a gift. Then, things took off. The facility grew to more than 25 buildings, and the number of employees increased from just over 50 to over 5,000 by the turn of the century. In the 1960s, the first chips were used in a variety of products, even in hearing aids. Demand grew, and with the rise and popularity of color televisions, another factory was built. Now, the chip was completely indispensable in our daily lives. Roaring 60s, at Philips Nijmegen, it was the Roaring 70s. Women's emancipation, the increasing influence of trade unions, the oil crisis, and the rapid rise of computers all called for a drastic new approach. This new approach involved the transition to other production methods, modernization, and greater autonomy for personnel. In the 80s, the chip revolution continued. The memory chip was developed. The These were to be produced in a new factory called the Cathedral. The but it never happened due to a cost-cutting operation led by then Philips president Jan Timmer. Bij de Nederlandse chipfabrieken van Philips moeten 1200 banen weg en gedwongen ontslagen zijn, zegt Philips, onvermijdelijk. The memory chips from Philips were originally intended for computers, but after a reorganization, attention shifted to other markets. Fortunately, the chips also proved suitable for consumer electronics. Philips Nijmegen adapted, remained successful, and again became one of the world's leading brands in this field. In 1996, the cathedral was expanded and opened by then Crown Prince Willem Alexander. In the 2000s, the foundation was laid for new technologies. And in 2006, Philips Semiconductors continued as an independent organization named NXP Semiconductors. NXP developed technology for even more products, such as passports, and delved deeper into the automotive sector. But before NXP really stood on its own two feet, the financial crisis broke out in 2008. NXP Nijmegen could not avoid major reorganizations. But the crisis also offered opportunities. The focus on research and development increased. And there was strong innovation in, among other things, the automotive branch. In 2013, part of the site was transformed and the Noviotech campus was created, prioritizing innovation and collaboration between healthcare and high technology. Today, more than 3,500 people work here at 75 companies. 70 years ago, Philips Nijmegen started with a modest production. And now, NXP has grown into one of the world's leading chip manufacturers in the automotive, industrial and IoT, mobile and communication infrastructure sectors, an S&P 500 company and listed on NASDAQ. NXP Semiconductors is known for its position in the chip industry and its commitment to the climate, energy, and circularity. Soon, our world will be fully connected, and NXP will always remain connected to its past. Because the past built our future, and this future is constantly moving in fast forward. Enjoy the ride.
Show.